Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. We're on the East Coast. And with that being said, we're at the Carlisle Events uh, Expo Room. And it's got the first ever Hearst Olds Nationals here. And I met Tim. Tim, what's your last name? Tim Holiday. Tim Holiday. And Tim, tell them what kind of car you have. I have a 1969 Hearst Olds Convertible Recreation. So a Hearst Olds Convertible, how many original ones were there? They made two. And, me too. and your car is outstanding. Thank so, you. So I know you have, uh, you know, you're, you're, you've got a little bit of a car problem to make I it do. look this good. I do. Let me it's an obsession. <laughs> Let's take the car and show the people. So come right next to me. Okay. And we'll take a look at this. My first reaction when I saw it was, holy cow, it's here. And, uh... You drive this car, you I say. do, I do. I've had it done for about a year, and I've driven it to local cruises, a couple of car shows out in the way, uh, 30, 40 miles away from home. Yeah. But on the long trips like this, definitely trailer it. So when, uh, where is home? Home is in Howell, Michigan. Okay. So when you drive this car, what's the reaction people have when you oh, they, the top down? I've had the car 10 years and they just love it every time we drive it down the street. So we get a lot of waves, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of people pulling alongside the car wanting to talk to me about it, which is hard to do when you're driving. So, yeah, <laughs> A little challenging when you're driving. Where did you come up with the Hearst decal? Well, everything that I've done in the car is based on research from what they did back in the day. Yeah. In talking to the engineers, they, they had them as decals, but because of being able to wax the car and everything, I prefer to have them as magnets. So it's basically what they did back in the day to promote Hearst. It looks fantastic. What do they call that, a fluted exhaust or something? Uh, trumpet. Trumpet yes, exhaust. exactly. Just amazing. The gas is under the... Uh... Exactly. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Right. So how did you... Uh, who chopped the car? Well, there wasn't any chopping. Obviously, it was a convertible originally. Okay. So it's it, it came as a, as a convertible off the assembly line. It was always a cameo white car with a black top and a white interior. So this car, its whole life, has been a 442 in this exact trim. And you can see this car with the top down would be a natural parade car. Absolutely, and that's what it was. It was a parade car. This car would have held Linda Vaughn on the back with a big her shifter on the back, <laughs> and they would have driven around all the race courses and drag strips throughout the country, promoting Hearst. That is great. Now you've got some signatures here on the dash. Yes, Linda Vaughn and Doc Watson. So Doc Watson was in charge of the program to develop the Hearst Perp in the 60s. You gotta love the shifter. I'm just curious, do you ever throw it in anything other than drive? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you gotta go into the dual gate, for sure. Yeah. Let's take a look under the hood, shall All we? All right, yep. What do they call this scooper? Is it a the, mailbox the scoop. Mailbox mm -hmm. scoop. Mm -hmm. Of course, we call it the outside air induction. This looks like a brand new car. Thank you. You know, you got to This is amazing. It actually looks better than the actual convertibles. Yes. It gets. Well, and and the two again, they only made two and. Yeah. One of them had a very nice restoration two years ago, and the other one, from what I understand, is yet to be restored. So it's what exact shape it is, I'm not sure. Really not talked to anybody that's seen it since 2002. It looks great. Let's, uh, let's fire it up for a okay. minute. Let me get a little exhaust. 
last note. Wonderful loping sound, right? You put yes. the kids to sleep to that. Absolutely. Point. Come on with me for just a second. I want to show one other piece here, which is this. There's what Linda Vaughn would have looked like back in the day. The reproduction car. I think I missed these originally, but I'm not going to miss them now. And the Hearst slab headrest. Stand right next to it. Absolutely. Tim, amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful car. Great uh, great reproduction. Looks just like the real thing. Better yes. than the real thing. Yes. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on my car stand. Thank you. Thank you very much.